Alrighty, who remembers this hub right here when I had my wheel fall off coming down a bridge? If you remember it and you said, hey, don't forget about that spline and what happened to that hub, then stay tuned because for the next video, and for me, a couple days and money, I'm going to have that spline changed out. All right. See behind me? This is what I'm doing again. $180. Because I don't know anybody who lives with a free dock at their house. That I could call and just say, hey, can I drop my boat off there for a day and a half? It's only money that I don't have since I'm pretty much out of work. So the forklift is going to be picking me up here at the marina next door to the boat ramp. Boat ramp is right there. Marina is right here. Alright. It's all scuffy right where the trailer goes. Not too much green on the bottom. This is the scary part. Nobody likes it. I'm gonna turn the battery off. Here's the big deal. Diesel's almost $4. This is the cheapest station I could find near my house. Three and a half hour. Three and a half hour ride down to Plant City and back to have them fix that spline on the trailer that I pointed out to you earlier. So, last time I went down there, pulling the trailer by itself with no boat, I don't know how many years ago was it, four or five years ago, it was half the price to do it. Oh, and of course, goddamn pump turns off at $100. 25 gallons. I know I need more than 25 gallons, so I got to go through the whole dog and pony show all over again. There isn't many trailers out there that you can say, I got 20 years plus out of it. And I'm doing the plus. I've done a lot to it because of our tides right here. You can see I sort of scrape right there when it's super low. So on this support here, I put PVC bumper, I guess you could say. And over here, just in case, I just wrapped a rubber floor mat around that just in case. And it's still going strong. But here's what I can show you on the Rolls axle trailer. Your trailer has either a torsion bar or leaf springs. And this one doesn't. This axle here, right here, is steel, I believe, inside. I don't think it's all stainless. But this weighs a lot, this square isn't just hollow it's a steel bar and as you see this right here what's at the bottom here is a rubber plunger and the trailer rides up in this cup so when the the wheel goes up it flexes into this cup which where the rubber bumper is and this is the man's claim to fame who designed it 
as you can see in that one okay you can see here see how down here it's going up I think maybe the rubbers in here I don't know where it is but this flexes all on this hinge system here so there's nothing to rot or go you know screw up now what I had to do was last time I was at rolls axle trailer I believe it or not because I hit these you know I hit these damn manholes that are sticking up this high on some construction one time and it's the same time when my gas tank in my boat started leaking because I hit this giant what I call a highway mogul it was sticking up like this high and this and the tires hit it and the boat went flying and came crashing down well I believe it put a crack in this weld and this backing plate had a crack in it so what I did is the last time I was down there I went down there and they replaced this or something and you can see the welds are fine now but that was the only time I ever had an issue with this spring system these axles that float up and down like this on this rubber and this cup it's kind of like a torsion bar but it's not at the same time and then they build this undercarriage here okay so how do you adjust your bunks see my bunks are on an angle what you do is under here Let's see, right under here, this is the bunk. Here's the undercarriage. There's these, in here, wedges that give you different degrees to set your bunks at. You get different degrees. So, <clears throat> you can see from the back, I got an angle of my hull okay so very simple but high tech at the same time uh, see how that fender's bent that's when this wheel came off coming down a bridge at 50 miles an hour popped off chewed the bottom of this spline and kicked the tire up into here and cut the tire by the time I pulled over and then there was a curb right here and I couldn't get the tire out and there was all this goddamn Navy squid traffic going 80 miles an hour coming off the bridge and here I am sitting on the side of the road and I couldn't even pull out or do anything to try to get this tire unwedged from the curb and up inside the fender I had to call the sheriff's department <coughs> community service officers and that guy came out put his lights on and stopped that Navy traffic so I could pull out onto the highway because I was in the right lane and I needed to get in the left lane and turn and then go down the street and then turn into my street and I needed literally police to do it, or at least the community service guys, which are fantastic. Jacksonville's got it figured out. I don't know if anybody else does, but the police do police work and the community service guys do stuff like that to help you out. So this guy came and he was an absolute godsend, stopping that Navy 500. They wouldn't even let me pull out. I couldn't even get that door open and get in my truck because they were whizzing by me doing 80 miles an hour. So, needless to say, here it is years later now. And these bearings, I just had all the bearings changed. 
and these bearings now in this wheel right here are only lasting maybe maybe a full year so I'm tired of it I'm, I'm going to go and get the spline cut off by the manufacturer he said they can do the whole thing in less than two hours the people who build your trailer are the people that should do major fixes on it there we go My dad said, why don't you just take the axle off and take the axle on down there? Well, I didn't want to have to do that. I just bring the whole damn trailer. So as you can tell, I made it here. It was about three hours and 25 minutes from Jacksonville to Plant City, Florida. And I just got a two-hour kids trip booking for tomorrow uh, through some this booking agency so I accepted it because it's only a two-hour thing I'm gonna call them on my way home so this is Rolls Axle Trailer Company and then there's there's a trailer being built right there a small little trailer it doesn't look like it's a um, giant manufacturing facility does it but it is <laughs> I pictured myself raw materials coming in and then trailer shooting out there you go brand new one Oh, they're so nice when they're new. So nice when they're new. Best trailers made. Best trailers made. See, I thought maybe you would just cut it right there. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but the spindle gets welded. Oh, ah, so okay. what we're doing is we're, we're surgically cutting the sheet. Yeah. Then we'll slide the sheet off. And then we'll, we'll soft cut the, all the weld off. Oh. Weld that back full. Grind it smooth, slide that back on. We'll cut this off put a new steel surface on it and then we'll re weld that crack and then it'll, it'll be it'll be like alright huh see I, uh, I had no idea how it was, would work yeah. <laughs> that's where it's connected right there Super Torah.